Hey everyone, I'm Ian with Evolve Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like to engage with the Traffic Oven bot. Using this screen share, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the back end, explain to you how we built it, how you can tweak it, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So as you can see here, we're in the back end on ManyChat, and this it all starts with the Facebook Ads JSON Growth Tool. So you'll wanna use this template with your Facebook ads, when they click on that call to action button on the Facebook ad, then they are going to receive this message. So we're just gonna preview it. So this is the message that I just received in Messenger. As you can see, we have a GIF here saying hello. Now you can easily change out this GIF, but we recommend doing some kind of GIF grabbing their attention saying hello. Then the message here, this top part above this dotted line, is kind of just tips and information for you to best know what the goal and objective is of this exact message. So we say, you know, this is where you wanna confirm that the user is in the right place, that they're interested and that they're ready to take the next steps. So you wanna greet them, you wanna, you know, confirm that they're in the right place basically. So what you'll wanna do when you get this template is you'll wanna highlight all this information and delete that out of there. Make sure that you delete all of our little tips and strategies throughout the template just leaving exactly what you want in the message. So it would just read, hi there, let's get you set up for a free consultation. Click the button below if you're ready. So how we position the copy for now is just more geared towards a dental office that is generating leads and getting people to reach out to them. So the overall overview of the template is gonna lead with this confirmation message, and then we're gonna immediately ask for their email address, then we're gonna ask for their phone number, and then that's gonna follow up with five questions that we're gonna be able to save and then send over to uh, a Google Sheet, we're gonna send as an email notification, and then it's all gonna be stored inside ManyChat. So that's all that's included in it, but what you're just gonna see in this video is just firsthand what the user is viewing inside ManyChat. Once you purchase the template though, you'll learn all about how to set up the integration with Zapier so that once this information is collected inside ManyChat, then it's sent over to where you actually can refer to the information using Google Sheets, emails, stuff like that. So this is for lead collection basically. So they're gonna click, yes, I'm ready. Then they're gonna receive this message. Now again, above the dotted line is our little tip here saying, hey, this is where you're gonna to want to reply and you should follow up with a question, blah, blah, blah. So again, the first question is great. We'll just need a little bit of info information from you. Uh, you know, what's your best email address? Then there is a quick reply little button there. Now this email address is being pulled from their Facebook account so they can either click on that button or they can manually type in their email address. So I'm just gonna click that. And then we have a little bit of a typing delay to show that, you know, a little bit of humanization, a little bit of the human touch to it. And then it sends a GIF and it says, sweet, you know, shows a picture of a phone. Um, again, we have our little bit of tips and information here of what you should do with this next step. Thanks, can you please provide your best phone number? Now, in your case, if you're not trying to collect their phone number, if you're not even trying to collect their email address and you just wanna ask them questions, all you have to do in the template is just delete out these two messages right here. So you enter in the phone number and the next step is going to show a little bit of a typing delay and then it's going to ask the next question. So we've now collected their email address their phone number. Now we're gonna get into those five questions, additional questions. You don't have to actually go with five questions. You can delete some of those and just maybe ask two additional questions. You can add more questions if you wanted to to make it 10 additional questions. So this is in the tutorial video that you'll receive when you purchase this template. It will show exactly how you can add and subtract and it's very simple to add additional questions if you want to. Me personally, I wouldn't recommend making it too lengthy with all the questions. I would say anywhere between three to five additional questions after those contact information questions is all that you really should do. So again, we're going with the whole dentist office consultation kind of thing. So the next question is, do you use any of the following insurance? If so, which one? So then they're gonna put in, let's just say Humana. That's the insurance provider I use. And then again, there's gonna show a typing delay, just to add a little bit of human 
touch to it. You can delete these typing delays if you don't want people to wait. Um, you can also change it to make it from four seconds to two seconds to five seconds, however long of a delay you want. Or if you want no delay at all, you can definitely change that. So this GIF image, you, again, you can change all these GIF images if you'd like to. This is just kind of saying like, cool, next question, keeping things light, adding variety to the overall message flow and everything like that. Um, here we have our little tip saying, you know, same thing again, ask your next question, your next question, make sure you're saving these responses appropriately in your custom fields. So in order for the answer that they give you to be saved, you have to create a custom field, then that custom field is saved inside ManyChat. And then when you set up the Zapier to zap that information over to a Google Sheet or to you in an email or things like that. Um, then it's gonna look for those custom fields to pull that information from. So it's just saying, awesome, which service are you most interested in, our teeth whitening special or our free x-ray? So I'm just gonna say teeth whitening. Give it a couple seconds to write me the next message. And it's gonna say, okay, we'd love to know what interests you most about getting this procedure done. Would you mind sharing with us? So then I can say, um, I'm embarrassed of my yellow teeth, yeah. whatever it is. All this information is being recorded again in those custom fields. We hit them with a little bit of a typing delay so that it seems somewhat realistic. Hit them with another GIF, you know, giving them a thumbs up. Okay, cool, thanks for that. What is your preferred day and time for the appointment and then we're just going to put in right now it's uh you know august 2018 so we're just going to say um september 13th 2018 at 4 p.m something like that this is just kind of you know they're not actually going to set the exact time of the appointment because the dentist's office may not have that time slot open but it at least gives the people you know, at the dentist's office or you know you and your company it gives you an idea of when they are wanting to speak with you so you're like okay cool and then you want to tell them that it is the last question so the tip here is saying ask the last question don't forget to add emojis keep the conversation light stuff like that so when they answer this last question then a tag is going to be added to this overall conversation and that tag is going to be what triggers Zapier, the third party software to pull the information from this mini chat conversation and send it over to wherever Zapier is going to send it to. It could pull their email address and it could send it over to your email software and send them a confirmation email. You could send, you could pull all the answers, send it over to the Google sheet. You could pull their phone number, send it over to a text message marketing software, such you send them a confirmation text message. Um, you could pull all the information and then email it to whoever in your organization is responsible for getting those leads and then following up with those leads. So with the Zapier integration, which I show you how to set up in the tutorial video that you get when you purchase this template, you are able to do a lot more things you know, this mini chat really opens up with a lot of possibilities when you connect it with Zapier. So you answer the last question here. When was the last time you visited the dest dentist? Let's just say three months ago. Now, when they answer this last question, not only are those tags going to be added, but also they're going to be added to a multi-day sequence. So that message right there is the first message in the sequence. It's it's set to trigger immediately. So they just receive this saying, thanks dude. Um, if you have no more questions, you know, there's our little tip. So this is what they actually receive. Perfect, a member from our team will be in touch with you soon, thanks. Before you go, we wanted to share with you an amazing story about how one of our patients experienced a huge transformation in their life when they got their smile updated after spending years of a smile with a smile that they were ashamed of. Click the button below to now share their. So, you know, giving them that confirmation, great, you're good, we got your information, a member from our team will reach out to you soon. Here is a story or here is a blog piece, here's a piece of content that we'd love for you to check out, you're gonna love it. So don't just say great, you're done, you know, leaving them with something to kind of, you know, consume that's gonna build that relationship, build the trust, credibility, and familiarity with your brand 
So now when they are at this part, they're now entered into the five day, the five, it's not necessarily a five day, it could be every other three days. You can set the time for, you know, they receive the first message immediately, which this is the first message in the five part sequence. And then the second message could come a day later, it could come two days later, three days later, 10 days later. You can set the time of when that next message is gonna be sent to them. But this is the first message right here, this thanks dude in the actual five part sequence. So, you know, you can link them over to a blog and then that's pretty much all I can show you right now because basically I think I have it set for a day right now that the next message is gonna be sent over to me and that's gonna be sending them over to an actual blog piece of content. So now we're back here in the back end on ManyChat and I just wanted to show you what this sequence looks like. So immediately they're gonna be sent the thank you message that you just saw with the little girl saying thanks dude plus the blog then after one day they're going to receive message number two which is going to be linking them to another blog piece and another bit of information i can show you that really quick right here so remember you want to delete these messages these messages in here are just for us to give you tips on how to write your copy how to choose your gif image things like that. It's really just us guiding you and giving you some information here. So you want to delete the stuff that is just for tips and information. Always double check and triple check that you're deleting all the messages that you don't intend for the user to see. So the message number two is going to say, hey, did you know blah, 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 basically stats and facts and statistics that's meant to talk about the problem, wow them. Um, get them more inclined to actually purchasing your product or service and then you link them over to that piece of content whether it's a blog or a video or whatever it is that's message number two then message number three they will receive after five days again you can change this you can make it after three days five days whatever you'd like to do message number three is going to be more about social proof so you're going to be sharing some reviews some customer testimonials that you've had. So as you can see here, check out Katie's review below. I used to smile, blah, 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 then click the button over to that blog piece. And then after three days after that message, they're going to receive message number four, which is where we're hitting them with an offer. We're saying, hey, just wanted to let you know that we're doing a flash sale on teeth whitening kits. So for the next 48 hours, you can save 45% on our teeth whitening kit. Simply click the button below to take advantage of that offer now. So we're hitting them with an offer. We're trying to sell them on something now after we've done a good amount of warming up. So we've hit them with you know, three pieces of content. We've engaged with them. We've built trust and credibility, familiarity with those pieces of content. Then when we hit them with the offer, they're gonna be more likely to actually take up that offer. And then message number five is another piece of content saying, you know, do you want bright white teeth? So just still kind of keeping top of mind with them not letting them forget about us and that is pretty much the entire template the traffic oven that is available on this page for purchase so again you're going to get the facebook ad json grill tool that you would link up with your facebook ad that's going to trigger that message put them into that interview you know question answer flow where the email address the phone number is going to be collected and then the five additional questions are going to be asked and then on receiving that last question, they're gonna be entered into the five part message follow-up sequence, which is right here on this page that I just went over. So if you have any questions about this at all, feel free to shoot me a message through Facebook. We can talk about it, but the tutorial video that you're gonna get with this template is gonna explain everything. So it should be very easy to follow along with setting this messenger bot up with your exact brand and your exact business goals and then also setting up everything with zapier so that the information that's collected in mini chat gets over to you and your team so that you can handle the leads and close some business so thank you so much for watching this and i will chat with you later see ya